welcome to the Little Red Schoolhouse Spelling Bee. Um, this is the day we all look forward to. Uh, a day of wonderful tradition, a day that honors your children, and we're happy to have you all here. We begin with grade eight this morning. This afternoon, we finish with grade three at around 2.30. Um, we have judges and moderators. I'll introduce them to you. And um, I'll ask if you have a cell phone to, um, to mute it so that it's not so quiet for that. Our moderator is Superintendent of Schools, Kathleen Smith. Our two judges are Ward 7 City Councilor Shirley Azak and Carlene Fernandez, a recent uh, Bridgewater State University grant. Okay, good morning, everyone. It is just a pleasure to be here. Um, I enjoy being here as your superintendent, but I do have to tell parents out there that I actually sat there. I have a 31-year-old daughter who will never forget her fourth grade trip to the spelling bee and still talks about it to this day. What I have told all of your children is they are winners just by being here. They're winners by being able to compete at their own schools, to honor the tradition of what we've done in Brockton for so many years, to be able to come to the Little Red Schoolhouse and take part in a friendly competition. I've gone over all of the rules with them, um, and I told them that the goal is all of you are here supporting them, and their goal is to have fun. And I want to guess that whether it was at your kitchen tables or in the car as you're driving, I'm sure you've done your own spelling bees with them for many, many years to prepare them for this particular date. So uh, we're all excited to be here, and I do want to start by having them each uh, introduce themselves. They'll turn and face you, and I think what we'll wait is until the end to give everybody a round of applause so we can get the contest going. So Elizabeth, would you like to start? And can you tell them your name, honey, and where you're from? I'm sorry. Tell them your name and what school you're from. Elizabeth and I'm from Asheville. Good. Tyler Landry Davis. James Gordon Davis. <laughs> nice and loud. Please, next, yeah. All right. Neil from the Public Academy. Very good. Jones Dona from South. Tyler Dona from East. From West, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Added humor, I love it. <laughs> Switch schools. <laughs> and let's have a round of applause for all our family. Just to go over the rules for everybody, um, the uh, moderator will pronoun pronounce the words to the students. If they choose at that point to ask for a definition, or um, a word in a sentence, at that time, that's when they are to ask. They then start to begin to spell the word. If at any point when they begin spelling, they change their mind, they go back to the beginning and spell the word again. Once they say the word a second time, their turn is complete. If they misspell the word, we ask them to sit down and not take part in the contest at that point. Um, if, in fact, Towards the end, you have somebody, or not even towards the end, if somebody misspells the word, and everybody else misspells that same word, everybody gets back up again. To become the winner, you not only have to spell the word that the person before you misspelled, you then have to spell a word of your own to be declared the winner. So those are pretty much the rules. Um, we do have the judges that were introduced to you, so they will help me out in case I get distracted to make sure we have the correct spelling, so please listen up to every word that is being spelled and help me out if, you, if there's a concern about the pronunciation. I apologize to your kids. I have the worst New England accent around, so I will do my very best to pronounce these uh, correctly. So uh, let's start, and we'll stand up. Elizabeth, the word is abbreviate. Can I have that in the sentence? To abbreviate the word pound, you simply use the letters L and B followed by a period. Abbreviate A, B, R,
A, B. A, B, R, E, V, I, A, T, E, abbreviate. I'm sorry, Elizabeth. Next, please. Um, next is Tyler, abbreviate. Abbreviate, A, B, B, R, E, V, I, A, T, E, abbreviate. Correct. The next word, James, is altercation. Altercation, A, L, T, E, R, C, A, T, I, O, N, altercation. Correct. The next one is Rebecca, and the word is anonymous. Can you use it in a sentence? The newspaper <coughs> received the information from an anonymous letter. Anonymous. Anonymous. A N. Anonymous. A N O N Y M. O U S anonymous. Correct. The next word. Diana. Asterisk. Asterisk. Can you use that in sentence, please? The word in question was <coughs> marked with an asterisk. Asterisk. A S T E O I S Q U E, asterisk. I'm sorry. Next one is Kurt, correct? Mm -hmm. Kurt. Asterisk. 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 A S D E. A S D E. R I S C. Asterisk. Sorry, incorrect. The next one is Hanil. Hanil. Asterisk. Asterisk. A S T E R I S K. Asterisk. Correct. The next one, John, is cinnamon. Cinnamon? Can you use it in a sentence? My toast was served with a butter, sugar, and cinnamon topping. Cinnamon. C I N N. A, M, O, N, cinnamon. Correct. The next one, Evelyn, correct? Is colleague. Colleague, C, O, L, O, E, A, G, U, E, colleague. I didn't hear her, I, it was correct. Okay, very good, correct, thank you. The next one is Tyler. Can you stand, please? Communicate. Communicate. C O M M U N I C A T E. Communicate. Correct. The next word, Grace, is diagnosis. Diagnosis. D I A G N O S I S. Diagnosis. Correct. Aguahi, the next one is diminish. Diminish. Um, can I have that in a definition, please? My supply of soap will diminish quickly because of all the dishes I wash. Diminish. Oh, I'm sorry, did I give her a sentence? I'm sorry. To make something smaller or less important, diminish. Correct. <laughs> the next one is Tyler. And the word is exceptional. Exceptional. <coughs> E-X-C-E-P-T-I-O-N-A-L, exceptional. Correct. The next one is James, and the word is excessive. Excessive. 
excessive. E X C E S S I V E. Excessive. Correct. And the next one is this is Rebecca. And the word is fluorescent. Can you define it? Very bright and dazzling in color. Can you give it in a sentence? The blue fluorescent lighting from the carnival's Ferris wheel could be seen for miles. Fluorescent. Fluorescent. F L U O R E S C E N T. Fluorescent. Correct. Okay. Next. I'm sorry, who's next? Haniel. Haniel, okay. Let me just. Haniel. The word is genuine. Genuine? G. Genuine. G E N U I N E. Genuine. Correct. John is next, mm -hmm. and John, I have the word gnawing. Gnawing. Can you use it in a sentence? The boy had a gnawing sensation in his stomach, worrying about the math test, tomorrow, math test tomorrow, or the dog is gnawing on the bone. Okay, can I have a definition? Persistent and troubling or uncomfortable. Okay, uh, <coughs> gnawing. G N A W I N G nine. Correct. Next word is gymnasium. Gymnasium. G Y M N A S I U M. Gymnasium. Spell that one more time. <coughs> gymnasium. G Y M N A S I U M. Gymnasium. Correct. Yeah, it was hard with the M and the N. We were struggling to hear what letter, but that is correct. The next word, and this is Tyler, is legitimate. Legitimate? Yes, legitimate. Legitimate. L E G I T M A T E. Legitimate? That is it. Correct. <coughs> okay, the next word, Grace, is legitimate. Legitimate. L E G I M A T E. Legitimate. It's not correct. <coughs> Aguahi, the word is legitimate. Can I have that in a sentence, please? Yes. We have legitimate reasons for worrying about the quality of our water. This is back to Tyler, correct? Correct. Legitimate. Legitimate. L E G I T A M E N T E. Legitimate. Incorrect. James. Legitimate. Legitimate. L E G I T I M E N T. Legitimate. Not correct. I do have to let you know if James is leaving, um, he has a basketball game out of state, so we're allowing him at some point to leave. The word is legitimate. Can you define it? Well-reasoned and sincere. We have legitimate reasons for worrying about the quality of our water. Legitimate. Legitimate. L E G Y T I 
No, we said L E G I T E M E N T legitimate. Not correct. <coughs> okay, so I'm down to Haneel, correct? Legitimate. Can I have a definition, please? The definition is we have legitimate reasons for worrying about the quality of our water. Legitimate. Can I hear it in a sentence, please? Yeah, that was the sentence. Let me see if I can find another one that I had written here. Um, yesterday, we had a legitimate reason for complaining about the heat. Legitimate. Legitimate. L E G I T A M E N T. Legitimate. Not correct. Who's next? John. <coughs> Did you want to? To pronounce it legitimate? Legitimate. Leg <coughs> legitimate. Legitimate. Sorry, that's not correct. Okay, this is Evelyn, correct? Yes. And I want you to be nice and loud with this. Legitimate. E. No. <laughs> L E G I T I M A T E. Legitimate. That is correct. Yeah. Oh. Right, so that's a tough one. So let me spell that for everybody. Legitimate. L E G I T I M A T E. Legitimate. Okay, so that's, I just want to make sure. So there was nobody left s s to spell a word, correct? Right, okay. So the word is, the word is library. Library. L-I-B-R-A-R-Y, library. That is correct. <laughs> so I guarantee we'll all remember that word legitimate for a long time. So as I said in the beginning, thank you parents, family members. These kids are truly winners. You know, these are our superstars that you will see as we go along, whatever schools they go to. Uh, thank you so much for participating and for supporting the Little Red Schoolhouse and our annual spelling bee. You were fabulous. Thank you.